This is going to be the first video in a series of tutorials that I'm going to be displaying cool CSS tricks and uh, tips to do things that normally you have to go into programs like Photoshop to, uh, to create. I'm going to show you how to create these using only pure CSS. So first I'm going to show you how to make a, a speech bubble using just CSS. You can see that there's a gradient in the background have the little arrow there's a uh, faint hint of the text shadow to bring uh, to bring up the text I'm going to show you how to make this in straight CSS no jQuery nothing and this will work in IE Firefox all the major uh, browsers okay right now I have a simple block quote uh, with some text and within the block quote, I have a span with a class called arrow. This is going to be the bottom part of our uh, bubble. Okay, so let's begin styling this. All right. As always, want to zero out the margin. Give it a little bit of padding on the top. Five pixels. Padding on the let's go to the bottom, give it five pixels. Let's give the left and right about ten pixels, pushing it in. Okay, and we're going to set the background color to a dark blue. <clears throat> the width 500 pixels. Uh, border one pixel. Give it like a silver tint to it. That's solid. Okay, so let's see what it looks like. This is what we got so far. Refresh the browser. Okay. Now let's give the color back to white. Okay, so now let's. Uh, Give it the CS uh, border radius. Now this will work in the new uh, Internet Explorer 9, which you can go ahead and get the beta for it now. It's quite stable, but um, it won't work in IE8, but it will work in every other major browser. So we'll set the Raised to 20 pixels. That'll take care of IE9 uh, and Opera. Set the WebKit border radius to 20 also. That'll be uh, Safari and Chrome. And then Moz border radius for Firefox. Okay, so that's <clears throat> now uh, we're going to add a gradient using the background, and then it's a The gradients will only uh, work in Firefox, Chrome, Safari, and yeah, that's it. Okay, so we're going to set the gradient for WebKit. Uh, we're going to start from oops, from uh, light blue. 
we're ended with the background the color we set for the background which is a darker blue which is zero zero nine and then we're going to do the same thing for Firefox zero nine F switch over to live view you can see the hint of the gradient right here from light to dark go to Firefox go from here to there okay now I'm going to add a property that uh, won't force the div to expand to account for the padding which will be box sizing I said the border box then we'll do the same thing for WebKit <coughs> and the same thing for Firefox go here and refresh you see that the box shrinks so now it's um, with what this is doing is uh, the browser is now calculating the padding within the width of the div if that makes any sense it's kind of the way the old IE uh, I think maybe six did it so instead of having the, the div add to um, or the the box element it's padding added to the width so since it would be 10 pixels 10 pixels um, on top of 500 so it'd be 520 it's making sure that all that happens within the width of 500 pixels if that makes any sense okay so let's add a box shadow to give it the, you know a 3d ish cool looking effect so those shadows are actually black <clears throat> okay we gotta do it for webkit also and for Firefox text shadow to make the text stand out a little bit better. Make that black. Okay, save that. Refresh. Hmm. Yes, so now the text pops, and you can see a faint glow for the shadow. Now we need to set the position for this to relative, and now let's start working on the arrow. You want to zero out the height. Width, line height, margin, 
Okay, and we're going to put this on the bottom. So, we're going to go bottom minus 30. Okay, cool. Okay, and then we set the border. Right. 30 pixels solid since this uh, arrow is going to be on the bottom we're going to want to set the bottom uh, the color to it to the bottom color of the gradient so it doesn't um, mess anything up so it looks right so set the bo uh, border the left none for bottom 30 pixels solid transparent position Absolute. Now let's save that. Refresh. Here is our arrow. Okay. So let's push it to the right. 20 pixels. There you go. Try to center it a little bit. Try that. You can always play around with the values of these. So now you see that we made the arrow just using the uh, borders. And now the reason why I set this to transparent because if I was to set this color for the bottom border, say if we set it to green. You'll see that'll be green. <coughs> this arrow is really nothing but a box. So, setting it to transparent guarantees that no color will show up and it'll blend with the background. So, that's how to make a CSS speech bubble using no jQuery, no JavaScript, no images, just CSS and HTML.